Hello, and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to um, download the Universal Minecraft editor and how to use it. So this will greatly help you out in your world, especially with my most recent video on how to uh, activate, how to get creative mode inside of, um, inside your world for free. So yeah, let's get started with this video. If you guys like this video, subscribe to my channel for content, ring the bell to notify everybody posts, or just leave a like in general. Also, share to our friends on other social medias. Well, let's just get started with this video. First, you're going to want to open Google Chrome, like this, and then um, search up Universal Minecraft Editor. When you search up Universal Minecraft Editor, then uh, you click on that and uh, just click download for free. Download installer Universal Minecraft Setup.exe or whatever it says at the end. Just click on this. Just show you a black screen for a second. Um, and then program files, Universal Minecraft Editor next. Uh, yes. And then just two clicks. And then launch. So, do you want to update now? Yes. Yes, I do want to update now. You guys can't see it, but updating the Universal Minecraft Editor. And next up, you're going to want to click your preferred platform. I'm going to click Windows 10 since that's what I uh, um, use. I'm going to use this one. Get this one. You just give it a second. It's probably gonna it's gonna lag real quickly, like that. All right. So next up, we're going to want to. Do, so let me show you guys how this works first. For the players, I recommend you go to you scroll down until you see a local player. This is your player. So unless you don't know uh, um, what how to access the player name, which I don't even know yet then um, I would recommend using local player because that's the player that's on your computer aka uh, your 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 own account so uh, yeah you can edit your inventory here if you click on the inventory area then you see like all these so let's just put this as you all, you have to have minecraft at the end so minecraft colon let's say minecraft colon Barrier. All right. So now that we have, or actually, yeah, barrier. So let's the count. Let's just put sixty-four. Or uh, and then the third slot. Let's put Minecraft shoulder box count. Since you can only have one shulker box at a time, you could have sixty-four. It's probably gonna glitch it though. Count 64, name, Minecraft, no, I would not recommend you, um, you do anything that has more than one, uh, more entries, uh, on this, like, you load into the game and then you do it, don't do this, you're gonna have Minecraft closed as well, so it doesn't break the thing, world settings, just so you know, this, is not a uh, Minecraft unload or uh, there's not a chunk unloader. That's not what this is intended for, anyway. So the you're going to want to you. This is basically where you name your um, server. So SAP server, and then you're not going to want to modify any of these. You, this is the world spot, so you can modify this wherever you want it to be. Do not modify the Y level, but um, the X and Z levels you can modify since those two are for world spawn. Um, the random tick speed. This is this is disabled because of cheats. Just put it wherever you want. If you have a um, an XP farm that gives you a lot of XP, like the one that um, some YouTubers have. For Bedrock Edition, I would not recommend you modify this. Um, nether Scale. This is, 
one block in the nether is eight blocks in the overworld. If you do the math, then you can theoretically just uh, modify that. So, and then, I think this is, um, so those, so those two are where people are going to spawn. There's probably like the limit on where they can spawn. Limited, I have no idea where that is. Um, you're, you're, you can, this is like the difficulty, so I would, turn, I would recommend turning that off. TNT explodes. I would just turn it off just because. So this is where it really gets real. So keep inventory. It's usually set at zero. I would recommend you put it at one. Mob reefing, obviously put that at zero. Um, fall, fall damage and fire damage and drowning damage. These three things, I would absolutely turn that off. Do weather cycle, just turn it off just because. Do insomnia, that's all those dumb phantoms. Turn that off. Of course, I can't really tell you what to do, but these would recommend for that. Um, do daylight cycle? Yes, I would keep that on. Do entity drops? I would also keep that on. For my previous video, turn. Usually, this would be at zero. Turn this to one. Commands enable. Keep this at zero. If you don't, if you keep it up, if you turn it to one, then um, you're gonna. Mo you're gonna regret it. you're gonna regret uh ha not having the chance later on so yeah that's what that is and right now i don't think the universal minecraft editor um has a way for you to disable to uh, enable and disable achievements at least um at least if there is i haven't found it yet the minimum compatible client version so for this i would i would recommend doing it, not modifying these two but you can modify this so like if you're in 1.16.200 um one and you have a world that's 1.16.210 then um you can just modify this back to uh, 201 like that and uh you will um be able to play on it but I'm gonna modify it to 2010, so it will make some sense later on. I do not recommend modifying these two unless you know what you're doing, because um, if you do, then some block you might your world might get corrupted, or some blocks may uh, some blocks may disappear from where they are supposed to go. So with that then um i think i'm not completely sure there is a way for you to um i think there's a way for you to get okay hold on db this is where all your resource packs are so you can just modify some stuff i'm pretty sure so that's what that is. Level name. Do not do not remove any of these if you can. Uh, level dot dot. Yeah. So that's basically about it. Where with your Universal Minecraft editor. So um, I'm just gonna close anyway, even though I didn't save it. And then I'll show you my uh, Minecraft settings. So let so let me just um. You guys can just see that moving up and down. All right. So now you you should you should see this uh, version one point sixteen point two ten. And if we look on, let's change this to. I'm just gonna change the name since I'm too lazy to do it. For the community SMP server. So, as you can see, visitor and then simulation distance, put it at 4. I, I naturally put it at 4. Um, 
I didn't save the thing, so if it looks weird, then that's probably why. Um, enable game test framework. Um, no idea what that is. So, as you can see, keep inventories on. Um, command block enabled is on. The random text speed should be different from 1, because 1 is usually its minimum. And, uh, yeah, education distance is off, but... To be honest, it, it, it doesn't need to be on. Always day, usually just do whatever you want for that. And my briefing is off. So, yeah. So, that's probably going to be it for today's video. So, um, if you like this video, subscribe to my channel content. Ring the bell to notify whenever I post. And just leave a like in general. Also, also share this to our friends on all your social medias. I guess, um, see you guys later. Bye!